Okay, there's a boat over there. Okay, yeah, and I see an aberration. I can get over here. Is he trying to get that? Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you see? Like, that's not good. What is he doing? Okay, oh, yeah, 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 Yo, 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 what is up, everyone? Today, I'm checking out Dredge. It's an indie game that released last week in which you are a fisherman in a horrific world. I mean, I guess that's all fishermen. The ocean's scary. There's a lot of scary stuff in the ocean. You can imagine the kind of weird stuff you're gonna dredge up, pull up from the depths. This is my little boat though. I will show the systems and all that stuff when we get back from this run. Currently, uh, with it being 6 a.m., it's a great time. When it gets nighttime, things get bad, very, very bad. We are gonna sneak into a monster's lair, a sea monster's lair though. We gotta get a family crest for a man. I love the look of this game. It's very simplistic, but very just beautiful, especially when you go out first thing in the morning and the sun is setting, or the sun is rising. It's awesome, awesome. You're gonna hear me say that this is awesome a lot, because I am having a great time with this game. It's one of those games that it rewards you if you really start to grind out stuff, but you don't have to do that. You really don't. I've got a lot of money right now, but it's kind of because of my upgrades, I'm kind of stuck at a point where I need, to, I need to make more progress with the story, or if you want to call it the story. Okay. We're here. Oh. There he is. There he is. There he is. Does he see me? He sees me already. Here. We're gonna, we're gonna, I don't know how to get past this guy. I don't know. Oh god, I already, okay, I, this is not going well already. This is not going well already. This is not going well already. He's right there. He's right there. I, di I disabled my engine. Oh, God. Uh, okay. My ship is dashed to pieces. This is the first time I'm running across this is with a sea monster. This isn't something that was coming before. When you're out at night, things get dangerous. Most definitely, things get bad. As you're around at nighttime, you'll start to see things around you. You'll start to panic. Ooh, yeah, sun's rising right now. It's pretty spooky, and I love this game for that. But yeah, this has been a fun, chill game to play. As much as it can get spooky at points, as much as it can get, you know, really rough and how punishing it can be, it's never too bad. At the end of the day, you could... Oh, Jesus, he's here! Whoa, my God. Where did he... So... Oh, God. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. He just damaged the hole. I don't think he damaged any of my equipment, so we can still dredge up that family crest. Hopefully that means we can get it, because if he's not in his lair, I don't know if it's automatic, he just automatically pops out every time. Yeah, I think he's gone. Okay, we're gonna dredge this up quick. Okay, here we go. This is a little bit mini game. Each mini game is different for what kind of fish you're getting, any of that stuff. And what I'm doing there is just pressing X to switch lanes. Okay, and you can see my cargo space. This is all my cargo space. Okay, we're getting out of here actually, because I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. It's dangerous. I can't get caught up in this stuff. Can't get caught up in it. I want to try to catch an eel, though. I got to catch an eel for a mission, also. And once we get back, I'll talk about all the different systems, all that stuff. The sea monster has been a specific part of this area, man. Oh, God, what is that? Okay, it's the ship. Jesus. Oh, my God. I hate the ocean. I love this game, but I hate the ocean. That thing over there, I put a bunch of crabs into it, and it gave me something called the Mouth of the Deep, I think, that... Just basically catches crabs for me and I can clean it out. Even though it's a giant maw. Oh god, what? Okay, it's storming. There's occasional weather stuff. I don't know how much that affects. At least the, the areas I've been so far, it doesn't affect it too much. The wind, you can kind of see it's, you know, going across the screen occasionally. There you go, there it is. That will push you further. So, going with the wind will definitely help. Gotta avoid these things in this area I'm in. And all these different spots you see here are the uh, different fishing you can do. Okay, actually I need to look for an eel, right? I can only find those at nighttime and you'll start to see how dangerous nighttime is. I really shouldn't be risking it because I have the family crest I need, but hey, hey, we're gonna risk it for the biscuit, AKA this eel that I gotta let rot for this part. It's very weird. I don't even know what I'm supposed to necessarily do. I just need this eel first. Okay. You can kind of see just how claustrophobic things are getting. Oh God. And uh, you know, like everything in the ocean nowadays, it's very Cthulian. Obviously not straight up Cthulhu. God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Okay, just turn it around. You can kind of see how rocks, oh, here we go, I'll show you this example. Turn off my lights. 
I can barely see those. Usually big structures like that you can see, but like small little rocks, like rock outcropping kind of stuff. It's very easy to hit if you don't have your lights on. But I guess because I'm in this buoy area, you can kind of see I'm like within range of this. It's not going to get too spooky. I've seen weird stuff at night. There's like rival boats that I they chase after me. I don't know what they're going to do to me. Usually a sea monster kills me for them. I love sea monsters though. I You know, I love this game. I love this game. Okay, this is what I need. Okay. I press X when it hits the green. Y'all have probably played something like this. Okay, where can I? I don't think I can put it. Maybe I could do this. There we go. Okay, I just need one of them. Basically, time of day passes whenever you're moving or actively basically doing something. So fishing, putting on equipment on your boat, all that type of stuff. We're going to get back here, though. You can see I don't know what that stuff is looking at me. Does not matter. Does not matter. Keep moving. Okay, here we go. This is not exactly what I need. Oh, Jesus. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, stop. Okay, here, get here. My guy's freaking out. You can kind of see that eyeball. That's your panic meter. Don't know what's going to happen. Maybe you'll start to see stuff. Maybe you'll start to get damage from non, uh, like unseen things. I don't know. I'm too scared. Too scared. Okay. Oh, okay. Awesome. She gave me a book. Books are pretty cool because you can read those while you're doing other things. And it's like kind of a passive thing you have to use. And then eventually you just get a full on upgrade. Okay. Let's, um, I, I can go through some of these systems real quick. It's not too complicated. I was kind of wondering how complicated this was, game was going to be up front. It's not. Definitely want to put that out there. Very easy to wrap your head around. It's not, you're not doing anything crazy like, oh, I know this fish sells better over here. So I'm going to sell this fish over here. And then like figuring out all the different economy and stuff like that. That was something with, um, what was that game? Sunless Sea? But the, yeah, that game is also, you're basically a submariner in a way. I think you know, actually you're a ship and you're seeing weird Cthulian stuff. Obviously very similar to this, but this is much more of an easy to take in thing. It's much more understandable overall because that game really gets into the weeds when it comes to the economy and like the story, all that stuff. It's just a lot. It's a lot. This is much more my speed. Much more. Love it. Got a couple different rods I can buy. I'm not worried about that. Got different engines. Got this improved troll net, which that's actually, I should buy that. Let's just buy that. I'll put it in storage. Okay. Place it with that and just sell this one. This is my storage. It's a mess. A lot of this stuff I need to sell at a specific town that buys, like, you know, gold. So there's some of that, but it's very much like a certain resource. You can only sell at certain places versus anything else. So let's see. Nothing else I can do here. I'll eventually go back there. These are all upgrades and stuff like that. I've been keeping some of the old equipment I've kind of improved upon. I could sell it outright, but I think I might be able to add to my ship later to make it quicker. I'm not sure. You can kind of see it's got different portions of it. So like this can be also used for like the fan in the back, but I don't really, there's no way for me to have just one so spot on each. And when it comes to your fishing rods, you've got like four by four here, but you upgrade that over time too. That's because my guy's freaking out though. What's very important is night or you need to rest. Night's scary. You need to rest the next morning. You got a research tree of stuff you find too. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of stuff that you can upgrade. It's not it's never too complicated, which I love, but there's a lot of stuff you can upgrade over time. I can show you the map real quick too, just kind of show you the scope of this game. You start off in the center of that map there. I just kind of made it to this Gale Cliffs area. I feel like I haven't really fully even explored this area because the way it's oriented is usually you'll run into something or it becomes nighttime and your guys like I need to get back. There's points you can stop at on the map that you can kind of either unlock or that are just automatically there. What's that noise? Oh yeah, these things. I don't know what the deal is with that. Don't know. I'm getting out of here. Oh yeah, look at that sun. Oh. I don't know if you're playing as the super hot guy. I don't know if the whole thing of like if you move, time passes. I don't know. I've gotten one upgrade through what seems like the main story quest. Which basically is called haste. It gives you a boost, but also you can see there's a little bit fire symbol in the bottom left. That's easy to screw yourself over with that. So, what's up? Here's this Judd Crandall dude. Uh, I was gonna do an impersonation of him, but I can't. All right, hello again. What can I do for you? There you go. That's the most I'm gonna do. You found it. I never thought I'd see this beauty again. I love the atmosphere of this game. You'll kind of start to take this in. You'll hear. 
water occasionally, you'll hear like creaking of the boat, all that stuff really adds to the ambiance of it. But now I have a further f a favor to ask, would you take this to my brother at Inkfell? Tell him, tell him his brother is sorry and will, I would like to come home. Okay. It's right here, so it's fine. Uh, undock. Missions are called pursuits. We're gonna get all this stuff out of the way quick. So, very. It, what I love about this game is very upfront with all of its missions. There's occasional stuff you'll find in the environment where it's not really explained and it's not all the time marked. So like say it's a certain resource you need to put here or something like that. That's not always the case, but when it comes to this, but when it comes to like most of the main missions where you're gonna get story and stuff like that, it's very upfront and very clear of what you should be doing next, which I love. But there's a lot of hidden stuff too, which I uh, also love too. What is it? I believe this crest is yours. Gods, I haven't seen this since. Hmm, so he did take it. I knew it. Your brother's sorry. Will you let him come home? Hmm, I don't know. I was in a right state when he left. Okay, fine. You can stay in my old workshop, at least for the time being, but I'll need some time to clear it out. While I'm doing that, perhaps you can do something for me. See, I've been trying to clear some debris in the pathways through the cliffs to make a shortcut with explosives. Ah, right, this is what I was waiting for. I was able to set a charge, but the cliff seemed particularly unsteady that day, so I didn't risk detonating it. You just need to go in there and set it off. It's not far, and I left some uh, yellow flags nearby. You can't miss it. Anything else? We'll catch a fish, though. We'll catch some more fish. There we go. Okay. Right in the green, right in the green. Active reload this stuff. So, Resident Evil 4 Remake came out recently. That game has Tetris in it. Like this Tetris, exactly. And I love that. And this game has it too. And this game does it. I would argue better. I would argue because it's very important your inventory in this game. Very, very important. That's why I've heard this game described as survival horror, but I, th I don't know. I think that description is a little apt, obviously, when it comes to the horror elements. It's never opp too oppressive. Okay. So whenever you hit the yellow, whenever a yellow one pops up, that will be basically a better fish. So I got a better fish. Yeah, that's what I want to say. Uh, yeah, this is a uh, trophy one. I can sell that, make more money. But we're going to keep going. I dropped a crab pot here. Oh my god, look at these horrific things. I hate it. I'm not, I'm not picking those up. It's gross. No. Okay, he's, he's here. I think I, I think I hear him. Okay, where is he? Is he behind me? Oh, he's right there. Oh my god, okay. What? I just lost the salmon, right? Okay, we're fine. I like how he was just chill. He was just like, hey, I bit you once. See you later. Pile of loose debris in the gaps between the rocks. You can see what appears to be large white teeth. There's a long fuse trailing out from the side. This must be the location the whaler once cleared for a short shortcut. Light the fuse. Yep. Light the fuse. Woo! Debris come rumbles away. You should let the whaler know. So now I've got this easier way to get into this lair. What is this? Okay, let's do this. The kind of edge of the screens will get red, obviously, when your panic goes up, but that is also a good signifier of, like, hey, that thing's close. Ooh, doubloon. All right. And I love the flavor text in this game. Oh, my God. I haven't caught any what they call aberrations yet. But, yeah, they are very much, like, horrific monstrosities. Like, mutated fish. Like, it's basically as if that, you know, three-eyed guppy in The Simpsons is uh, a monster. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay, we made it. Okay, let's, uh, I don't know. What is that noise? Stop, stop. Is he here? He's here, he's here, I think. Yeah, he's here. What, you're not supposed to be here, dude. You're not supposed to be here. You're not supposed to be here. You're not supposed to come here. Oh my God, okay, I almost, oh God. This isn't fair. So he can come all the way out here now? He's not, oh Jesus. Okay, I think I could just do this. Come on, come on, come on, okay. Yeah, he's gone. See you later. See you later, alligator. He's not an alligator. You've done it. We heard the blast from here. God's the echo. I'm surprised the cliffs didn't go down on your head. I've got things ready here. Go and tell my brother that he can come home. Okay. So I imagine... Let's look at my... Uh, what's this looking like? Stale. Okay. I am going to go across the river here. Repair my boat. Sell these fish that I can sell. And then uh, we're going to go see his brother. I'm sure I'll have to, because, like, even whenever you're picking someone up, this doesn't happen very rarely, 
I mean, this this happens very rarely, but you'll occasionally pick up, you know, castaways and stuff like that and carry to them a town. I haven't seen a lot of random elements other than just the fish stuff. It seems like very much like this is a designed world with designed encounters, which I don't have a problem with. If that makes like, you know, coming across more horrific stuff, awesome. Awesome. Okay, so let's do a uh, fish market. Okay, sell that. You can sell all pretty easily, but I do not want to sell this little guy. I might just continue to do this and just show you how things get worse over time if you don't get sleep. Okay, let's go here. Uh, Hermit, hi. Your brother forgives you. He's found you a place to stay. He does? That's a huge weight off my chest. One so old, I hardly remember it was there. That's, okay, he's turning into Bane. Stop. Uh, right, well, I'm packed and ready to go. Okay, here he is. Let's just pick him up. Put him in here. Don't mind the rotting eel. It's not rotting yet. It's not rotting yet. Don't freak out. Yeah, it's just stale. Okay. Undock there. So that red item there, that's what I basically need for, I think, main progress stuff. But I was saying earlier that it's very easy to kind of just grind out stuff if you want to. I love games that are like, hey, if you want to grind out stuff to make sure you get all the upgrades quicker or however you want to play it, go ahead and do it. But it's not needed. It very much has a structure and it very much has a, like, direction it wants you to go almost at all times. It's very upfront. It's awesome. But it also, there's a lot of hidden stuff, too. A lot of stuff you'll run across and be like, I don't understand that, don't know, the game's not explaining it. I'll just have to remember it. A lot of that type of stuff. I'll show something like that later. The hermit notices the old whaler staying on the dock, waiting for him. Little brother, you're home. I'm so sorry, I was so foolish. We both were. Come on inside, let me get your bags. The two brothers walk away down the dock. One of them pauses for a moment and turns back to you. Oh, stranger, if you find any more debris that needs clearing, I'm working on making some more packed explosives. Come by the old whaling yard anytime. So you can kind of start to see the gameplay loop here of daytime, you're fishing, you can risk it to go out at night, there's reasons you do need to go out at night, definitely, at times, but you can just, you know, go out during the day, come back in during night, rest, go up the next day, like I said, you can kind of grind out that stuff, it's got it like, I'm at day 47, I'm sure there's a lot of people that have made more progress by this day, but I've been playing this casually, loved it for that aspect. But with this gameplay loop, like a lot of these games where it's like, oh, okay, your day's over, tomorrow's gonna be different. Or whether it's a different objective, whether it's anything. Like, roguelikes come across that long way, but those are usually longer. But games that, like, you know, Persona. It's hard to put down a Persona game. Because each day is like, okay, well, I want to see what happens this day. I want to see what happens this day. This happens, this has a lot of that aspect, too. Well, let's see, though. Okay, so, got him here. Whaling Yards. Here, this is on the house for all your help. Ooh, okay, packed explosives, give me that. Okay, let's just put that here. Okay, yeah, just, yeah, man. Um, we're just gonna start clearing out some stuff. Okay, let's just buy three of them right now. And I think, you know what, we're gonna drive around at night and we're gonna see some, we're gonna really risk it. Okay. And there's stuff like these crab pots, you can kind of sit down to get passive fish and stuff like that there's occasionally reasons you need them but this is the type of indie game i absolutely adore it's very systems heavy it's very atmospheric if it's very much an experience but it's not too much there's not a focus on story never too much focusing on any of that stuff okay these explosives okay there we go breed crumbles away okay we're gonna start fishing dredge up some stuff just press an X to switch between these. You see those gaps is what I have to avoid. And as I mentioned, the kind of drawback is, I don't think you can damage your ship by messing up a lot, but you won't catch the stuff in your basically passing time while trying to catch this too. So your dude's gonna be worse and worse off. Okay, God, okay, okay. I think we got it, I think we got it. I think we got it, come on, okay, oh God. Okay, there we go, got it now. Relic discovered. Okay, we'll put it there. Okay. We are going to go ahead and sleep. I'll keep these explosives because I think I'll need that for something. You can kind of see that big old lighthouse over there. That's the city you start out in. So that kind of always gives you a... I mean, like a lighthouse is supposed to do. It always gives you a point to go towards. 
Let's go here. My storage. Do I need to move anything in here? Yeah, just that, that. We'll keep that, keep that. Okay. Okay, we're gonna rest. I haven't seen it get, you know, too much like, hey, you only got three hours worth of sleep, which means you're dealing with this. I haven't seen it deal with too much of that, but I think eventually sleep's always gonna have to catch up to you. So since we can, since we know we gotta head over here, actually, I'll show you. Let's uh, let's before we leave this area, I want to show some that I saw last time I was playing this that really I was not expecting. Like I said, this game is very upfront about most of its mechanics, its missions, and stuff like that, but there's still some hidden stuff. It definitely reminds me of Zelda and its overworld. Just in how there's a lot of unexplained elements, and you can figure them out or not. Okay, yeah, I was like, I was going over here, and I'm like, oh, there must be somebody in this boat, right? Just sit there and go up. I can kind of see what I'm... Yep, 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 yep. Look at this guy. What is he, Ivan Ooze? What is, what's going on there? And he goes back down. I don't know what the deal is with him. Maybe I can, like, blow him up at a point. Because I do have the explosives. Maybe I can be sneaky. Okay, I gotta, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Okay. And you can see stuff in the far off distance. I've seen some weird stuff. I know it talks about, like, volcanic areas, so I imagine that's going to be an element. I'm basically only in the second area, and it looks like the game split into like four or five. But at any point, you can go like, "Okay, I'm tired of this place. I'm going." Oh, look! I don't, I don't know if you could do anything with those. They're cool though. I just love it, man. Oh, atmosphere in this game. Okay, we're gonna use haste. We gotta beat these dolphins. We gotta. I can't let them show me up. Oh yeah, they, they're slow. They're slow. It is most... Oh, yeah, look. Uh, there's, like, aqueducts I can see down there. Like, I don't even... That's, like, a city. Let's see if we can get this. Might may not be the smartest decision because we're in the middle of the ocean. So when it comes nighttime, it's dangerous. But you'll see some of the weird stuff. Okay. Okay. Can I... There. There we go. You can kind of see there. I just did some Tetris. I didn't think that would work out, but it all... It did. I was like, it almost always does, but actually it doesn't. A lot of times you'll have to just throw a fish back in the ocean because you're like, I don't got space for you. Sorry, buddy. We're just moving. This is this the, this is the experience of this game, though. I am loving this. It's very easy to get addicted to. Of like, okay, I know what I need to do the next day, and it's very much easy to get sucked into just a constant loop of like, okay, next day I'm doing this, next day I'm doing this, and then just play this game for hours on end. And it rewards you for doing that. Grinding out and stuff will definitely help you in the long run. Okay, there's a boat over there. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna see. See if he's mean. Okay, yeah, and I see an aberration I can get over here. Is he trying to get that? Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you see? Like that's not good. What is he doing? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I'm starting to understand. Oh no, I get what it, the game's putting down now. Oh my god, I'm getting- okay, st stay back, stay back. Oh, you're not allowed to come in here. Okay, that's an anglerfish. That's not actually a ship. I got you. I didn't actually pay attention to what was chasing after me, but the same thing happened before. Uh, we're not dealing with that now. Let's, uh... This is a weird man in this house who's been taking my weird Cthulian artifacts, obviously. So you've returned. I wasn't sure you were coming back. You dragged the massive music box into the room, gouging the wooden floorboards under beneath it. The collector doesn't seem to mind. He's focused on the box. You found this at the cliffs, didn't you? It doesn't matter. Yes. Okay. Can't uh, read it because, you know, achievements, obviously. Ah, excellent. This should make future return journeys a little more swift. Follow me. He selects one of the silver ribbons trailing from the Crimson Bound book, opening it to some unseen page. Turning to catch the dim light, he whispers the words on the page. After a few seconds, you feel your stomach drop suddenly, as though thrown high by a wave. He closes the book and turns his attention back to you. Now there are yet more relics to find. Keep looking. Reef at Stellar Basin may have caught and accumulated some wreckage search around that area. Why can't you search for these relics by yourself? The ocean owner wishes to cooperate. As the waves are unsafe for me, you will be my surrogate. Anything else? Yeah, this guy's into weird stuff. Everyone in this game's very much into it. If you're not a worker in this game, you're into weird stuff. Okay. Need to sell this. I know there's some, like, some debris. I want to show an aberration, though. Okay, let's see. Like, I don't know if that red stuff is kind of warning you or it's just... Kind of paranoia. 
Here we go. There's gonna be something horrific in here. Okay, just a black tip reef shark. Let's just throw him back in. I'm looking for an aberration. It's like the mutant fish. What's that noise? Okay, okay, what's that? What's going on? Okay, there's something coming. Okay, yeah, whatever this thing is. Oh god, stop, 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 stop. What's happening? What's happening? Oh god, get out of here, get out of here. Jesus, okay, 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 okay. Good, I still got the aberration. Didn't lose the explosive. That would have, I wonder if it would have blown up the explosive I have. I don't know. Okay, well, let's see. So repair all. Yeah, here, look at this thing. A large body bisected by an enormous grinning maw. Teeth stretch down forever into the blackness of its large gullet. The flavor text on those things is, is just always incredible. Oh my god, it's so good. Uh, ooh, got a new, more powerful light. I should just buy that then, right? Okay. Let's do this. Uninstall. Let's just sell it. Because this is basically it anyways. Okay. So you can see, installing it takes two hours. So there's just certain things that pass the time, but almost everything does. Uh, yeah, just take this weird thing. This guy here, uh, he asked me to get some of those aberrations, and he was like, I'm going to try to eat one. He ate it and then locked his door and just freaked out for a night, and then he said he didn't even remember it. Yeah, I don't know. I, there's, I'm really interested in what this game is putting down. <laughs> I think it's going to be where I wrap it up, though. Uh, I've shown some of the fishing, shown the crab pots, shown the map. Uh, I got some messages in the bottle to read, but hey, I'm not, I'm not gonna force you all to listen more of my voice acting. You can see there, it wants me to go to Stellar Basin next, but I could go anywhere if I wanted to. Which I really enjoy. It's very open in that regard. I don't know how much I would accomplish if I did that. Overall, loving this game. Having a great time playing through it. I definitely think I'm gonna finish it. But yeah, I wanna thank y'all for joining me. This has been Dredge. I'm having a great time with this. Highly recommend it. It's $25 on basically all platforms, and it is exactly what you'd want out of a survival horror fishing game. And if you're into survival horror, I'm posting a Callisto Protocol review next week. Make sure you subscribe if that sounds interesting to you. I'm hoping to get back in the habit of reviews because right now views on the channel are stagnating. I'm losing subscribers for some reason. It's a mess. Hopefully gonna get out of it by, you know, doing something different. I posted a new episode of What's New on Game Pass earlier on this week also. That was on Nino Kuni 2. That is a JRPG in which you're playing as the US president who is heading to a summit that is stopped by a nuclear bomb. And he's sent back to a fantasy world after being hit by that bomb, obviously. And, uh, you know, in that fantasy world, he helps a cat prince, a cat boy prince, mind you, become king. It's very, it's very weird. Very, very, very I, I can't go, it's nuts. You have to see it to believe it. Highly recommend that video just because of how nuts that game is. And if you have Game Pass, subscribe to the channel too, because you'll see those videos come out as soon as I post them on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Basically cover new releases on Game Pass, play them beforehand, talk about them, talk about if they're worth it, just kind of go over them a little bit. But yeah, this has been Dredge. I'm going to maybe find out what's up with that crab, but as of now, I'm just going to ride in this sunset. I will see y'all next time.